Good morning. This is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And uh, before I begin today and explain this mess, I would like to very quickly say thank you to all of my brand new subscribers and a huge thank you to all of my old, old subscribers. None of us are really old, are we? We're older, some of us. Um, in any case, all of a sudden I have hit over 500 subscribers and the number keeps clean keeps climbing and I was planning to give out a freebie at 500 but I didn't have it ready I almost have it ready it will be out hopefully sometime this week and I will do a quick little video and let everybody know what that is um but that'll be a kind of a special video just click on the notification bell if you want a notification as to when that video comes out um so that you don't miss it because it'll be a freebie and because you guys are absolutely wonderful, it is so nice to have so many of you on board. And I hope you're enjoying and having a good time because I certainly am. So those of you who have been here for a while may remember that I had my knee replaced in August. Uh, it's a partial knee replacement. I have two partial new knees now. Um, I had one done two years ago and this one just in this past, my right one this past August. Um, it is wonderful. I am so much more mobile now than I was before a while. And that's a really cool thing. But while I was laid up, I had to come up with a whole bunch of projects that I could do while I was, let's just say, under the influence of some very, very nice drugs. Um, those painkillers were wonderful. But you can't really think very well. They, they kind of, you know, cloud the 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 cylinders and so you're not work they don't work so well in your brain so you have to come up with projects that are uh that don't require a lot of thought one of those projects for me was creating this cluster book i'd had a whole box of these clusters and i'd always be leafing through them and i would forget that i had them and so i created a cluster book this is an idea i got from gail augustinelli and when i was laid up all i did was paste them in I didn't have to think. I could just paste, you know, put things in. You see a couple of blank spaces because I started today because it, it was full. It was so full. I had no space to put anything new in there. So I thought, okay, what I need to do, I've been making all these clusters. I've got to do something with the clusters. What can I do with them now that I have them? So I started making a bunch of stuff and I thought, you know, I should turn my camera on. I really should do this with the camera on. So I, I, I I, this is one of the pieces that I made. This is one of those folding. It's just a six by six piece of paper, folded in half, cut the edges. Now you've got a little pocket folder, you know, something to go in your pocket. And I put a cluster on it. And then I threw a few other things on it as well. So I did that. And then I have, I made a belly band. I think that's really cool. I've got a nice belly band here that I can slide something into. Of course, I can't slide anything into it right now because I don't have the right thing but there we go you can slide something in there and I don't know did I do something else in here this particular journal there's another one that I made and another one that I made so I did a, I've done a couple of them so far today this journal is two signatures it's going to be um, it's the next journal that I'm working on it is a true junk journal these are lots of different kinds of pages in here. Two signatures of 12 pages each, which makes for, uh, which means there are 12 times four is uh, 48. So there's 48 and 48, which is, I'm doing this in my head, 96. <laughs> oh my glory. 96 pages this will be. And at the moment they are stapled together just to keep them organized while I'm working on them. Eventually, they will be sewn into a hidden binding and then into a cover. And in the meantime, I thought I might as well grab them and start filling them up with some of these pieces. And like I said, there's no theme on these. This is a true junk journal. It's whatever comes to hand. So clusters. We got clusters. I got stuff that needs clusters. Let's put clusters out here. So you, if you saw, I just did this particular little stamping thing not too long ago. Uh, that, that was from one of the stamps that I got from Craft Bits and Pieces. 
it doesn't take it's not going to take a very big cluster so i need a little one of my littler clusters i think to go on here where's my little clusters i lost there there so there's my little clusters do i have something here that will work these are just um i think Oh, well, that one or this one? I, I think I'm going to stick with the one I was thinking of. These are just glued in. And this would make a nice little cluster, I think, up in the corner. Do we want to add something to it? I have a little bit of tissue paper here. Do we want to add a little tissue paper? Yeah, there we go. We'll add a little tissue paper to it. Where's my glue stick? I like tissue paper because it gives another added dimension and it's easy to use and it's cheap. I Well, it, in fact, that I've never bought any. I just, people give us presents or, you know, for Christmas or whatever. I don't buy it anymore. I haven't bought it for a while. It looks purple. That'll dry clear. And then I think I want to put it that way. So this is a nice little card. It will go on here. I think we need a little number or something down there. What do we need down there? We don't need a, do we, I don't want to put a flower because there's so many, it's so busy. So I want it to be something that's a little bit more simple. I have all of these numbers. Do I want a big number? I don't know. Do I want a littler number? I like that better. That's not quite so in your face. There we go. I am getting ready to go to a craft fair this coming, a craft fair, uh, a, a crop retreat. It's not a craft fair, it's a crop retreat. This weekend, I'm very excited. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I did not seal these down when I made it because I didn't know how it was going to be used and I think I want to seal those down just a little bit there okay it still needs a little something across the middle but we'll leave it for now we're working on clusters um, this could also use a little cluster this was just you may recall that I made those um, flip floppy in fact, this needs a little trimming. Those flip floppy envelope thingies. Well, I ended up with a couple of extra envelopes. And yes, I can make more flip floppies, but I don't need more flip floppies at the moment. I got plenty. So I think I'm going to just use this as an envelope. So we'll just kind of do this up a little bit. Sorry, I don't like to generally do this because on camera because it just takes, you know what this is. You know how to use it. It's not, what you have to do, be done, it, what has to be done is to remember to do it. That's the, the key because we always forget. At least I always forget. Okay, now I want another one of those little ones. Where are those little ones? There they are. I want another little one. Um... That'll work. And I'm just going to put that on there as kind of a tab up. So because it's going to be a tab up, I'm going to use Fabri-Tac on this one. So there's a lot of different ways you can use these clusters. So I've used one to decorate a, a tag. And now I'm using one as a tab on an envelope. Okay, let's not move it around while it's drying. Okay, so now it'll just tab that up. Okay, we're going to set that, let that do its thing. Um, I have this piece that really needs help. This is just a napkin on coffee dyed paper, and that needs some help. I 
needs some color. It needs... Well, I like that, but I don't know that I like the white on it. So I took it out of there and we'll probably snap that back in. That's a possible. This one's huge. I did a really big one there. And so that needs. Okay, those are. Ooh, 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 ooh. I said it needs color, and then I'm grabbing one that doesn't have much color in it. But I like that on there. That's got a little bit of doily, some paper, a stamp. Yeah, I like that on there. But I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac for this one because that's the, the napkin, so it's Mod Podge. It's got a Mod Podge surface. I'm a little concerned that the regular glue stick won't hold it. So we're going to just be on the safe side and put that right on it. In fact, let me move that up a little bit. There we go. I like that better because I want some of that to show. There. There we go. And then I can draw one around the corners. Let's do at least these two and then see what happens. Yeah, I do like how that looks. See how easy that was to decorate? That's one of the things that clusters do. When you create your clusters, then you have to decorate something. You don't have to think. You just grab it and snap, slap it on and it's done. Now, what I might choose to do with this one, because it doesn't have, you know, we put our numbers on different things. I may find a nice number out of here. We'll see what comes out. That says 22, and it's very, very little. Let's go with our very, very little. We'll try it with the glue stick, because I don't think the Fabri-Tac, I think I'll smear the Fabri-Tac all over it. It'll drown. Drown in Fabri-Tac. Let's see if we can get it to stick. Uh, we probably want it the right way up. There, we'll put it down there. It's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. Let's make it crooked. Okay, I think that's going to stick. So we got a little something there. I'm debating. You know what I, we haven't done? We haven't done this. Okay, we're gonna call that one done. There, another one done. Okay, this one's a big one. Uh, this was one that I, this is a piece of watercolor paper. So it's pretty thick and I had it under a book for a while, but the edges are still curling a little. So I might want to use this as a pocket so that I can, you know, push it down. But this would be good for a couple of, the, I've got some of these that are really big. So let me, I'm not going to put that back in again because I might take it out. Ooh, that's I like those greens all together. Okay, you're a possibility. I'm not going to take it out yet. You're too big and you're the wrong color. Uh, that's another green that's another possibility. That's more of a grungy. Which one do I like? That one or this one? This one or this one? Let's go with this one. Journal de Paris. Almost looks like you could put something in there, doesn't it? So do I want to make this a like a... I don't know if it's strong enough to make a pocket out of it. I don't think it is. I think we'll just put it like it is. We're just going to put it on there. So I'm very excited about this particular craft fair. I'm going to do a couple videos for you. I'm going to do a before and after. This is what I'm taking and this is what actually occurred. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, now I've got these journals and I was going to put some, I've got a green page here. 
I really kind of like that. If I do it on the green page, but I think I want it on this green page. Yep. I want it on this green page. Do I want to make it a pocket? I can give it a little bit of space. Nope. You know what I want to do? I want to go back to where I was. No, I guess there's not really any way to do it. Unless I do it down here. I could. All right. All right. All right. We're thinking. We're going to put the pocket here. If I can do this, because like I said, this is watercolor paper, so it's much thicker than what normally you would get. Okay, I don't want to do this in the green or the the. Um... Oh shoot! Come on, vintage. I want to do it in green. I don't want to do it in vintage photo. That's the word I'm trying to come up with. This is, um, what is this? Rustic Wilderness. Distress Oxide. Um, I think it would probably work with the ink as well. I just don't happen to have one of the inks in this color. I have it in the Distress Oxide. So this is Distress Oxide Rustic Wilderness. I moved, I, as those of you who have been here, you know that I usually have to get up to get those. I've moved them. They're now on my table, and I really do like that a lot because it, it everything's right where I want it to be. Okay, we're going to put the glasses down so I can see what I'm doing here, and we're going to put on actually quite a bit of this. I'm going to put a little bit thicker line than I normally do because it's such a thick paper. Oops, my glue book's in the way. Sorry, concentrating on getting a straight line. There. We'll make a card to go in there at some other point. But that's a way to use up those clusters. So we've used a cluster here. We've used a cluster here. We've used a cluster here. We've used... <laughs> so we've gotten four, rid of four more clusters. This is a good thing. Let's get rid of one more. And then we'll go on from there. I don't know if... I've got two different things here. Let's see which one we can find, I've got a really long skinny. I don't know if I've got another long skinny that will fit that. I'm looking specifically for this one, although I kind of like that for this one. Okay, let's put that one on there. And come on, long skinnies. another green one but I put these on with glue stick and um, I could just rip around the whole thing if I wanted to there we go that's a nice long skinny all right let's put these on and then we'll this is really cool I like how that looks but I don't know that I want to add anything else to the to the journal at this point. I don't know how it's going to, I don't know what journal this is going to end up in. Not all of these are going into the, the one that I'm working on, but some of them are. Some of these will go back in the box to be used on a future journal. Oh, just, just pour it out onto your fingers. Wipe that off. There we go. This was a remnant from a masterboard. It was just the last piece left over. 
and then these were just you know scraps that's all you do with this is what how you do your scraps uh, I want to put it on this side now let's go ahead and since I've got this out we'll go ahead and use it I don't know that I've done a video so much on making clusters, but if you would, ooh, and I probably added, I could wrap it around. Do I want to do that? I think I do. I'm going to go ahead and wrap that right around. Or I can cut it off. That one might have to be cut off. Because when I slide it into a pocket, I don't want it catching. You know it. Okay. So if you've been to a craft retreat and you think of something that I should be bringing with me, please make sure you put that in the comments so that I don't forget. Um, if you have any suggestions about what to do when I get there. I have this green that isn't the same green, but that's okay. Let's put that through here. This is just a piece of leftover embroidery floss from when I tied together a signature and I ended up with a really long piece left over because I measured wrong. There we go. Excellent. All right, we have made a bunch of stuff today and used up a whole bunch of those clusters so that I can now go ahead and make some more and fill them up. I will go ahead and take real quick, I will reattach you because I didn't use you. So to show you how I reattach, tiny bit of glue, stick. It's not meant to be stuck there forever. In fact, I don't want it to be stuck there forever. It'll just be stuck there for a little while till I want to use it. And like I said, I can rip out like a whole section around it and then use that whole section. Um, at the moment, I'm not doing that because I don't need such, I've made really large clusters, so I don't need to, the extra space on there. And then that's one I made before. All right, if you're enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button um, and hit the like so that YouTube knows that you like it. And click on the bell for notifications because I'm going to be giving away that freebie and you're going to want to know when the freebie comes out. So make sure you hit that bell for notifications. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.